Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Daman Zaman. The headlines. The Prime Minister will perform the groundbreaking of the Rawal Pindi Ring Road project today. The Minister of State for Information and Broadcasting says the Prime Minister is materializing people's dream of getting their own homes. The infection rate of COVID-19 continues to decline across the country as the positivity ratio has dropped down to 1.23%. A court of India's notorious National Investigation Agency has framed charges against the illegally detained APHC's leaders in a false case in 2017. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan will perform the groundbreaking of the Rahul Pindi Ring Road project today. The 38.3 km long ring road comprises six lanes and various interchanges will also be constructed on it. The Rahul Pindi Ring Road project will help ease the traffic flow in the twin cities of Rahul Pindi and Islamabad. The project will also provide job opportunities and promote economic activities. Prime Minister Imran Khan will also speak on the occasion. The official anthem of the 48th session of the OIC Council of Foreign Ministers is being launched in Islamabad today. It will be jointly inaugurated by the Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi and the Minister for Information and Broadcasting Chaudhry Fawad Hussain. The theme of the OIC meeting being held in Islamabad on the 22nd and 23rd of March is partnering for unity, justice and development. Prime Minister Imran Khan will make keynote address at the inaugural session. Apart from addressing core issues on the agenda, particularly Palestine and Jammu and Kashmir, the conference discussions will focus on key priorities such as countering Islamophobia, recovery from COVID-19 pandemic and diverse matters of peace and security, economic development, cultural and scientific cooperation and revitalizing the role of the organization of Islamic cooperation. The Minister of State for Information and Broadcasting, Farooq Khabib, says Prime Minister Imran Khan is materializing people's dream of getting their own homes. Addressing a function in Faisalabad today, he termed Mera Pakistan, Mera Ghar scheme a revolutionary plan of the, Prime, of the Pakistan Tariq and Saab government. Farooq Habib said banks have approved loans of the applicants of the low-cost housing schemes very quickly. He said the government has approved loans of 56 billion rupees in just 15 months. Speaking on the occasion, the Governor State Bank of Pakistan, Raza Bakir, said all the stakeholders are taking steps in the right direction to translate the Prime Minister Imran Khan's vision of home ownership of every family into a reality. The Punjab Chief Minister Sardar Usman Khan Bustar says under the dynamic leadership of Prime Minister Imran Khan, we will continue to fight every kind of mafia. Talking to various members of the Punjab Assembly in Lahore today, he said those who create anarchy and chaos in the country will not succeed. The infection rate of COVID-19 continues to decline across the country as the positivity ratio has dropped down to 1.23%. According to statistics issued by the National Command and Operations Centre, two more deaths and 483 new positive cases of COVID-19 infection have been reported in the country. A court of India's notorious National Investigation Agency framed charges against illegally detained all parties of the conference chairman Musarat Alam Bhatt, Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Front chairman Mohammad Yasin Malik and several other Hurriyat leaders. The charge sheet that has been framed by the special judge of the National Investigation Agency Court in New Delhi, Parveen Singh, in a false case registered against the leaders for organizing large-scale pro-freedom and anti-India protest demonstrations in 2017 across the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. These leaders have been languishing in New Delhi's infamous Tihar jail for the last over four years. 
The Syrian President Bashar al-Assad has made his first trip to the United Arab Emirates since the Syrian civil war began 11 years ago. The Syrian presidency in a statement said President Bashar al-Assad met Dubai's ruler, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid al-Maktoum, and Abu Dhabi's Crown Prince, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed al-Nahyan. During the meetings, President Bashar al-Assad and UAE leaders discussed the overall relations between the two countries and the prospects for expanding the circle of bilateral cooperation, especially at the economic, investment and commercial levels. And now cricket. In the ICC Women Cricket World Cup against India at Auckland, Australia were 225 runs for the loss of two wickets in the 41st over when the match was, about, was stopped due to rain. Batting first, India set a victory target of 278 runs for the loss of seven wickets in the stipulated 50 overs. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and you can also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.